I'm assuming if you clicked on this, you might have been following along with the Penny series, where this YouTuber guy named Ryan Trahan survived on a penny across America to deliver one to Mr. Beast, all while fundraising for Feeding America. And I just happened to be the wife of that guy. Yeah, pretty crazy. Caught myself a real good one, didn't I? I'm about to go to the airport, fly to North Carolina, and surprise Ryan. I will explain why. Well, for this actual finale, when Ryan would be delivering the penny to Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast himself reached out to invite me, his dad, and some friends to fly out to North Carolina and be there to surprise him at the finish line. So I packed my bags and it was time to go to North Carolina. And we landed at 2 a.m., which crazy story about that later, Ryan was at the airport. But the next day was the actual finale day. We all had to get some McDonald's breakfast in honor of his last day. Of course, I had to try the McDonald's iced coffee that he gets every day. I didn't like it the first time, but this time I got the sugar-free one and it was actually a little bit delicious. I will say, for a dollar, that is really not bad. And then we had a ton of time to kill because we weren't getting picked up until like 6 p.m. So I dragged everyone to Barnes & Noble, made them get a Starbucks drink, made them get a book, and then it was actually time to get ready. Okay. We're about to get picked up to go to whatever's happening. We honestly don't really know the details, but I have to tell you the craziest thing ever in existence. Ryan was flying to North Carolina like an hour before us, and I don't know why I didn't think of this, but he was gonna sleep in the airport. So we needed to think about like what airline he was to not run into him. And as I'm remembering this, we're walking out of the terminal because our flight had just landed. And the second we walk out, Ryan is sitting on the ground by the door, looking down at his computer. Praise God that all of us were separated. So we like came out at separate times. No one was talking and he was like at our feet. So if he were to look eye level, he would just be seeing people's legs. So I see him, I freak out. I run to the restroom, text everyone who's still coming out, like run to the restroom as soon as you get off the plane. And then as I'm in the restroom, Ryan sends me this photo. So I'm so glad he didn't send that while I was walking out or else he would have been looking up. And then we really have no option other than just like walk past him and just hope that he's looking down at his computer in the corner and doesn't like look around because it's midnight at this point and no one's in the airport. Kaylee and I like switch luggages, switch backpacks. I have my mask on. I like try to put my hair over my face and then three of us go together looking down, walking as quickly as possible, no talking. And then Ronnie and Yero go together. And I think he didn't see us. I don't know if he did and he's just being nice and not telling us, but we're gonna find out tonight. Um, I hope he's so surprised though. I really don't want this to be ruined. So wish us luck. We're about to go there right now and see what happens. So first we stopped by one of Mr. Beast's headquarters. I don't really know what to call these. It was really sick though. Everything was Mr. Beast themed, even the restroom. And it was fully stocked in there, let me tell you. And then they drove us to another location where a bunch of people were helping set up. There were tons of balloons. There was a finish line. There were fireworks, which I did not know until they started going off and I actually have a fear of fireworks. But this was so cute and Ryan and Preston were gonna be right in on bicycles. This is them riding in and they ended up just riding past us completely. They had no idea. I, I don't really know how. They just kept going. Oh yeah, this part was actually so funny. Since we just saw them, we thought they would be riding in within a few minutes. So they had these flares go off. I don't I actually, I don't know what these are called. Little did we know, they just kept on biking. So they completely missed this part of the surprise. <laughs> but then some people ran after them. And finally, Ryan showed up at the finale to deliver a penny to Mr. Beast. And to add the cherry on top, I had to tell him we were in the airport right next to him the day before. What? I forgot you were sleeping at the airport. No. <laughs> and we were landing an hour after you. No. And as I'm remembering this, I'm walking out of the terminal with your dad, and I look down and you're sitting right there. No. You were sitting directly to the left of us. Yes. She looks at me and she goes, Yes. 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 And then we run to the restaurant. Oh, and no. then all of them walked out. And yes. That's what I was editing. Yes. You were there? Yes. <laughs> I 
and got a thumbnail with him. Oh my gosh. You oh thought my. you thought I was filming a 24 hour reading video? Yes. I wasn't. Wait, what? No, I was not doing that. was a that. ploy? You're yes. the only person I follow on Instagram. Yeah, and I put it on Instagram too. It was Dude, for the prank. I literally had no idea. The rest of the night was so wholesome. Everyone was just on a high of finishing this crazy, incredible feat of this 30 days across America. The famous van. I got to visit the van that Zach and Preston were in the entire time. We played some celebratory basketball. We got Waffle House, which is only good at 2 a.m. And definitely get the chocolate chip waffle and the hash browns. But sadly, it was time for me to go home and for Ryan to stay for a few more days to finish up the last episodes while I continue my living alone for two days. <laughs> Okay, I am home now. I have been for a day, and today is actually my last day living alone before Ryan comes home. If you have not been following my series, I tried living alone once when I was like 18? Was I 17? Gosh, who knows at this point. Um, I tried it for two weeks and I hated it so much, so then I never lived alone. And then for this whole month, I had to, so I just documented that experience. So that's fun to watch me struggle to do something that millions of people do. If you're interested in that, <laughs> some people are not built for it, okay? I discovered that I'm one of those people. But I went to the gym this morning and while I was on the stair stepper, I watched Ryan's new episode and he's actually filming a lot of the video in this spot that we walked past him at the airport. So I just have to put it on screen to show you. Sometimes my microphone goes all fuzzy, but what I was trying to emphasize here was how close we really walked past Ryan. If he would have reached his hand out, he could have touched his father's leg. That is how close we walked past this man. And he said we were the only flight that he saw come in for hours. He is aware of the people who came off the plane right next to him, but he never looked up. God really answered my prayer and we kept it a surprise some way, somehow. And I am very excited to get Ryan back tomorrow. It went fuzzy here too, but I was just saying that I couldn't picture a world where he didn't do this challenge. And that I am so beyond proud of him that words cannot even begin to describe. And then I start getting teary eyed. So I'm like, so I won't try or else I'll start crying. Cheers to my last day living alone. What have I done living alone, you may ask? Well, I like to read. So then I like to think of fun little video ideas like reading out of my comfort zone and film videos. And then sometimes Bella will text me and force me out of the house and then I forced her to go get a Brazilian wax with me. I just got a Brazilian wax and guess what? I forced Bella to come with me. Here she comes. I feel faint, that was so painful. <laughs> I'm recording your reaction because I knew it would be so funny. Gosh, that hurts so bad. Like there was one part <laughs> where she, one part she waxed, I gripped the table and I was like, oh my God. It's finally June 30th. I woke up this morning and I saw that on my calendar app and I was like, no way, the day's here, the day Ryan gets back home. I guess it's my official last few hours of living alone. I went to the gym. I'm gonna go to Starbucks and treat myself. And then I'm just gonna clean the house because it would suck to leave for 30 days and then come back to a messy house. So I need to like get all my crap upstairs. <laughs> when Ryan gets back, he won't have to drink $1 McDonald's coffee anymore. I loved using Ryan's office while he was gone, but now I need to put my laundry away and not use it as storage anymore. Before I pick up Ryan from the airport, I figure we must discuss what I learned from living alone for a month. Obviously, the first thing to point out is that I leaned on community so much. Like I literally flew to LA twice to see my friends. <laughs> so that was awesome. And I feel like that's kind of a common theme. If you're like a single person, you are closer to your friends because there's just, there's not really anything else in the way of that. Whereas if you're like married or you have a boyfriend, you just always have that built-in person who you can go do things with. So you don't really need to like go outside of that most of the time. I mean, you should, and it's fun too, but it takes more effort, you know what I mean? So leaned on my community a lot more. Number two, I started journaling. Oh, that was actually crazy. I feel like I really got in tune with my emotions this month, which is awesome. Cause something I've been wanting to do for, uh, 21 years, so <laughs> that was probably like the biggest breakthrough I had was journaling. Absolutely wild. And I feel like I just needed to get bored in order for me to be pushed to actually journal. So that's probably the biggest takeaway. But other than that, uh, no, I, I don't enjoy living alone anymore than I used to. I just don't, I just don't like it. It's just not for me, which is great because I don't live alone. So that's like a good conclusion. But also I guess I was more productive because usually if Ryan is home, if he's free, then I'm gonna prioritize him over my work. But since he wasn't ever 
here, obviously, I was like, well, I guess I'll just work. So I was more productive, I guess. I posted a little extra video on this channel, so that's cool. There were definitely some difficult points where I was like feeling a bit of dread, but then I actually got to the swing of things and I felt like it was normal. So I'm so excited to go pick him up and I watched his finale today and I'm sure I would have sobbed, but I was at the gym watching it on a stair stepper, so I did not cry, but I completely forgot that I was on a stair stepper for like eight minutes because of how entranced I was with it. So I'm gonna go pick him up, have our little reunion. I cannot wait to see Spock's reaction to him because he hasn't seen him in a month. And I will see you in the next video when we actually reunite. Bye! <laughs>